Android Lost is an application for your Android mobile phone which allows you to locate your phone, read messages on your phone, wipe your phone, change your phone's password, locate your phone by GPS or network, start an alarm with flashing screen, send it a message pop up, and a lot more. First off, go install go install it on your Android phone and then request administration rights like it says to. Next, go to androidlost.com. You'll be prompted to log in over here, and once you do that, you'll, present, you'll be presented with this. First off, let's have a look at the basic controls. The basic controls, first off, is an alarm that will go for 3 seconds. This can go all the way up to 120 seconds, which in other words is 2 minutes. So I'll demonstrate that for you now. I'll have my phone right up to my microphone and I'll click alarm. And it'll see message successfully sent to Google which forwarded to the phone when it's online. And that was the short three second alarm. You can customize your alarm, you can click select alarm and it'll have a prompt on the phone to select a audio file of your choice. You can make your phone vibrate for how many seconds you want. You can send it you can get the location of your phone, and the GPS fixed interval is like the number of location messages we sent to your phone. You can send it to update every five minutes or so. The phone status, if I send it, it will send me back a little status report showing how um, how much percentage the battery has, whether network is on, whether GPS is on, all this different stuff. With if the SIM card has been changed. Now note, you have to have a SIM card or your phone connected to the internet in order for this to work. So if you take out the SIM card, it will still work if you're connected to a wireless hotspot. Next thing is a message pop-up. Um, it sends a message to the phone and it pops up on the screen so you don't have to even do anything, it just pops up. SMS post into the phone number to send an SMS to. You can send it, the, type in the phone bo- the type in the pr- type in the phone number and then you can enter in your message here you can get your last 10 messages that have been sent to your phone so or your SMS list message picture is interesting one is an interesting one you can send a standard message to your phone like a a pop-up and once the person hits OK it takes a photo with the front facing camera and then it sends it back to you in an email or it comes up on here that's really kinda handy if your phone's been stolen. A boot message is when it boots up if your phone was dead and a nice person decides to plug it in and charge it up to see whose it was. It'll pop up saying this is my phone, yada yada yada. Overly message only works for some phones. It's the same place where you have the time in your lock screen. Screen timeout is how many seconds the screen stays on until it times out. Package, package display is the actual app. It's not really an actual app, it just gives you gives the app ad- admin rights to send and receive information from Google. Lock timeout is a lock timeout. SIM card owner, you can select it to say this SIM is okay, you can have it so this is not my SIM card and it'll let you if your SIM card has ever changed. You can unlock the phone, you can erase the SD card and you can wipe the phone's memory. Important one. Wipe the phone's memory. That's what you want if it's been stolen. And your SD card memory. First, erase your SD card, then wipe the phone, because then you have no chance of getting it back. Text-to-speech is interesting. When I click Speak, it will speak out the text in its native Android voice. So, here we go. Let's try it now. Now, you're noticing it does take a few seconds to go through. Waiting. Come on. Okay, I don't know why that's not working, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, that might come through soon. Um, you can dial your phone. You can enter the keys to dial. You can hang up your phone. You can make a call list. I am lost. Please pick. I am lost. Please pick me up. 
There you go, you just heard it then. Sometimes it does take a while depending on how busy Google is and how busy your phone is. You can make a sound recording and you can type in anything you want. There. It's just a standard text box so we can even say hello YouTube and say speak and hopefully it should be a little bit quicker this time. <coughs> um, we'll hello go. YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't really know what YouTube is. Um, again you can take a photo with the front camera or the rear camera. I'll see if I can do that for you now. So this is, you don't even have to activate the phone to do this. You can just rear camera and it will take a photo and send it across without showing anything on the screen so you don't even know that it's done it. Um, usually it sends it to your email. Sorry. Sorry about that one, I can't really show you. Hold on, I'll see if it's come up on a new tab. So I'm waiting for that. Um, polling service is mm, it's the polling service really um, and premium is a content browser a content browser is a content browser you can browse all your stuff on your SD card and download all those photos that you have on your phone's SD card now it, sh it should normally come up with a um, link here I don't know what's happening guys it's kinda sad I'll have to put that in another, in another video, there'll probably be an annotation there if it comes up working again. Anyway, thank you for watching, please subscribe for more videos about computers.